great start weather-wise for Keeneland, yep. for Thursday Night Live, for yep. the legends over at Winter Bank Ballpark, and tomorrow. Tomorrow. Big day at the race course. Yeah, there will be 30,000 of your closest friends and out there. And millions of dollars on the line, as well as places in the Kentucky Derby. Exactly, and it looks like weather should cooperate for us. We'll get to all that coming up in a sec. First, let's actually get you into tomorrow. You're thinking the day is going to start off nice, and you got the early golf tea time, and you're getting out there and doing stuff, and you're going, where's the sun? It'll be 93 million miles above those clouds, but don't worry. As we continue into the middle of the day, the clouds will start breaking up. First thing you'll notice is the clouds, which will start out fairly low. You'll notice that they'll be rising up and they become a little bit thinner. And then by the time we get to the latter part of the day, we should be seeing a good deal more sunshine and warm. How about temperatures in the 70s for your Saturday? That's not shabby. Here is the Max Track Live Doppler, which tonight we had drizzle and sprinkles around. If you were out, there's a decent chance that if you were walking around, you probably got kind of damp. It didn't measure in the rain gauge, though, at least not anything that we've seen. Uh, we've been watching this moving across the areas we've gone through this evening from southwest to northeast, so it's in a southwest flow aloft. You can see a lot of it came through Fayette, Clark County, Madison County, over into Montgomery, and most of it is now gone. So you may still see a little patch of drizzle or a little sprinkle outside your house, but again, the bulk of it's done which takes us into tomorrow. There'll be clouds around early. Sunshine will be on the increase as we go into the afternoon. There'll also be some early spring warmth, so enjoy that. It does stay warm on Sunday, but it also gets stormier for us, and a couple of those storms could be strong. Next week, there is warmth, but we also see the expiration date of the warmth. So enjoy it while we've got it, because this early in the year, you're not going to stay warm the whole way. So that's part of spring. Today we were about 10 degrees cooler than yesterday, but we get all those degrees right back tomorrow. Then we're looking at mid 70s on Sunday with the storms. We are cooling it down moderately into the middle of the week. It's after that that the expiration date shows up. I we're talking low and mid 50s now, so it's not a bad evening out there temperature wise. Again, kind of a dampish feel for us. The clouds are certainly out there. It's 56 at the Bluegrass Airport. Rainfall is exactly where it was earlier today, so even though we had stuff falling out of the sky, it didn't add to that total. Very light east wind and not much of a temperature movement today with all the clouds around. So the setup, we've got a stationary front that's just kind of wobbling around. So by true letter of the law, it's not stationary because it is technically moving. So we maybe call that quasi stationary. Uh, it's wobbling around still for us tonight, but by tomorrow morning, essentially beginning to pull out. And as it does, the clouds that have been around will begin to break up as well. High pressure will pass overhead. That helps to scour the moisture out. And when that happens, our day improves. Then we turn our attention out to the west. Here comes a warm front with it. Rain and thunderstorms will become increasingly likely for us on Sunday, likely in a couple of different ways. It's not going to rain all day for you on Sunday, but we will be dealing with those rain showers off and on. And then once the warm front goes by, we get into some unstable air behind that, and that's where we could indeed see some stronger thunderstorms try and pop up. And this cold front will take its time coming across the area. In fact, likely won't cross until sometime on Monday, keeping the rain chances around. On Sunday, there is a slight risk of severe storms. Right now, the best risk looks to be west of I-75 late in the afternoon into the evening. Not only that, a couple of downpours may mix in with this as well. Now, the rain will be heavier to our southwest, but for us, we're looking at another inch or a little bit more of rain coming in here by Monday. A few pockets of drizzle and fog still around. The clouds will linger. The temperatures will drop a couple more degrees. It starts with clouds, becomes partly sunny tomorrow. Highs in the low 70s makes for a much nicer afternoon. Rain and thunderstorms often on Sunday, lasting into Monday. Showers end Tuesday. The warmth ends on Friday.